Dear friends, I hope you have completed all the videos. Now, in order to make yourself do the self-testing or to build confidence that you know something about the Python coding, I've come up with some assignment questions. I've divided the questions into the eight different sections. So example, question number one to 10, focus on testing your competency in understanding of concepts related to data types, conditional statements and looping statements. In case, successfully, if you are able to do all programs from one to 10, that means that you are competent in using different data types, conditional statements and loop statements in Python. Look at these questions and try solving it. I hope you don't make use of chat GPT like GPTs, right? Because you are here to learn and build the competency. And I hope you are all matured enough to understand that in case if you copy it from chat GPT, you are going to lose it. On the other hand, I have question number four, 11 to 14. It deals with concepts such as tuples, arcs and quarks. In case if, if you are unable to do some of the problem statements, you can go back and watch the video again and try the program again. Similarly, after you complete all 14 assignments, 15 to 18 are really crazy things, right? It will help you to come up with some interesting games. These interesting games will help you to build confidence that you know Python programming. The questions 19 to 25 is specifically testing your competency in terms of NumPy library usage. I've created a simple questions which will help you to understand how much you know about the NumPy library. These are given in question numbers 19 to 25. Similarly, 26 to 31 questions are using of the NumPy library only and um, will help you to test your competency in not only NumPy but also Matplotlib. This is not only use of Ma uh, NumPy library but also the Matplotlib library. Matplotlib. Next, uh, 32 to 37, it is used to test your pandas library usage. And similarly, 38 to 48 questions are the application level questions, which will help you to test your competency, whether are you in a condition to build some applications using Python programming. Similarly, 48 to 53 are the questions that are going to prepare you with image or vision related Python projects. So there are, I have formulated 53 questions, try solving them. And in case, if, if you find some difficulty, please reach back to me through comments. Hope you are in a position to solve these 53 questions. See you in the next video. So I am also planning to start with the uh, machine learning videos very shortly. I'll get back to you. See you in the next video. Thank you.